Hello gamers and welcome to my first attempt of building a deck for Divisione 8. Um, I decided to try it out in balanced um, because the AA is decent enough. I've got some artillery options, some cheap mortars early on. I didn't put that many planes in. I did not upvet the um, fighter because um, then I would only have one in A phase. I have lots of very decent infantry. So in A phase I've got the Reckon Lunatist to get into position quickly and this one to kind of get into position as well and at the same time they can maybe do some shenanigans with their Panzerfaust. The Horch I obviously put in and then in B phase and C phase I've got the Kalarashi um, to then support my hopefully starting attack. I want to put that into take that into quick play later on you know after the release so I decided to go for balanced as well. Um, then here I went for the Vanatori Degada and I've got the Pioneeri Kalari for CQC. I did upvet them because um, they've got the automat two automatic rifles so they are not just there for the explosive. They've got two Berettas as well so I decided to upvet them. Then I've got the Vanatori Degada which is kind of like a possible CQC option as well but also ranged and also AT. Um, and the Kalarashi Moto as the range unit. In B phase I've got again the Vanatori de Garda um, and the Kalarashi Moto and uh, my CQC unit, dedicated CQC unit as the Rossiari Assault um, with Molotovs and um, four Berettas. I hope they can do a good job. Other options, you know, I don't know. I don't have the Rossiori in the deck, I could bring them in A, they are quite good. Um, or these Rossiori, but I think for CQC it's also 12 dudes, so I think this is a, this is a viable option. In C phase I was torn between the Rossiori and the Kalarashi Moto, and actually since it's, I thought Maverick, but it's not Maverick. In a Maverick deck, if you wanted a C phase card in a Maverick mirror, um, I'd probably take the Rossiori. No, wait, let's actually change it back. So you would take the Rossiori for sure because then you can bring, t bring three at one for one income tick, 80 points, so 75 points you need. Um, but the reason for taking the Rossiori over the uh, motto is that I could use the Rossiori in, in a forest as well with the automatic rifle and I couldn't use the Kalashi Moto. Debatable if you should go for, if you should upvet them or not. Possibly, maybe, it depends on the setup, which you in quick play don't know, but 91 units of infantry plus all this infantry is actually quite nice. In the tank tab, I've got the Turan and the Siani. Because of the veterancy curve, you only use lose one tank. I decided to upvet them. In the support tab, I obviously got the Breda. I've got the Hotchkiss in A phase to really stop everything that's coming. Um, and I decided to have another machine gun in B phase. Um, I found that quite helpful, um, you know, recently. So I don't have a commander because I actually ran out of slots. My AT tab is super full though. I've got the Panzer Shrek. I've got the Puck 38. I don't have the M32 unfortunately, because this role will be taken by the um, Breda and I don't have the Schneider either, which is a shame, but um, the Breda will try to do the job. It's got HE shells as well, so I think, um, yeah, Breda fire is even better, slightly better. Then the face lock Jagdpanzer and Pack 38, like I said, which is, all, which is not face lock, but I think it's useful to have a cheap option here. And then in B and C, I bring out the big guns with the Rishita. Um, I also decided to try out the uh, Vanatori de Cara coming in B phase because of their versatility. 
and then the um, new unit, the Takam R2, I decided to bring in C phase uh, for the simple reason that otherwise I don't have any armored vehicle that I can bring out in C phase and 105 penetration ain't, ain't too shabby. It's not fantastic, but um, um, yeah, it gives me a more mobile AT option. In the AA tab, I went for the Hotchkiss and the Bofors, both single vetted and single vetted Vickers. And I hope that's enough. If I start running out of um, out of um, ammunition, I might go for the ammunition here. And yeah, this is all like face locked, so I can't bring them in C face. Unfotunately, you could bring like the Hotchkiss um, with the Hotchkiss truck. Is that worth it? Mm. Is that it's a double Hotchkiss, thirteen point two millimeter? Yeah, it's. I don't think it's. I don't think it's worth it. Artillery tap. I've got a 60mm mortar and then in B phase an artillery piece with very good rate of fire, hopefully able to stop enemy assaults, apply pressure and so on, 75mm howitzer. And I went for the off map as well. It might be worthwhile in C, but I think B is, uh, B is good. And the artillery leader comes in C phase, which is a bit of an odd choice. I might well, move it to B phase. But I do want to ensure I have enough leaders throughout the game. Um, yeah, but actually maybe B phase is the more standard choice. And if I start running out, then I can maybe get another one. Uh, move the card to C phase. Like I said here, I've got the this very interesting Junkers to lure out any AA and stuff. I've got the fighter, I've got an AT option in the cluster bomber and I've got a, a bomber in C phase. I went for this particular variant um, over, for example, um, you know, the cheap one you know, with, the, uh, with the maybe not so good bomb loadout or over this one um, because uh, very good resilience two types of bombs, I like that. So this is uh, the deck. Uh, let me know how you would have built it from the first impressions. And um, I'm happy to receive advice, advice and I might have to change it to Maverick. I, well, I would change it to Maverick for competitive play with a 50 minute time limit. But this is going to be a balanced deck, which is viable, obviously. In particular, maybe because there are no heavy tanks. Um, but I think if you use the Rishita well, you have a good chance in balance as well. Uh, so let me know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching. Until then, bye for now.